this is Jo from Math Tutor Me. Today we're doing geometry and we're going to learn about the angle sum of a triangle. Now, every triangle, all triangles, have an angle sum of 180 degrees. That's the first rule we're going to use today. The second rule is called the exterior angle rule. And that is the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. Now, it sounds a little bit strange, but what that means is an exterior angle is if I take one side of the triangle and I extend it out the side like this one out here. Okay, so that's this angle out here is called the exterior angle. And that angle is equal to the two opposite interior angles. So not the angle right here next to that one, but the two opposite angles over here. Okay, so we'll be doing that question in just a minute to show you that a little bit more detail in a little bit more detail. Okay, let's have a look at our examples here. Find the value of the pronumeral in each of the following giving reasons for your answer. Okay, so number one, we want to find the value of R. We have two other angles in our triangle, 85 and 64. If I want to find R, I know that all of these angles have to add up to give 180. So R must be equal to 180 minus the two angles that we know, minus 85, minus 64. Okay, using the calculator, 180 minus 85 minus 64 is equal to 31 degrees. Okay, now giving reasons in brackets, we can write angle, there's my angle symbol, angle sum of a triangle. Question two, I'm trying to find the value of F. And again, I have these two angles. This one doesn't have a number on it, but because we have a right angle symbol there, we know that it's 90 degrees, okay? So to find F, all I have to do is start with 180 again and subtract off the right angle and the 59 degrees. Okay, again with the calculator, 180 minus 90 minus 59 is 31 degrees again. Okay, reason, angle, sum of a triangle. Question three, this is our exterior angle out here. This angle, Z, is equal to the opposite interior angles, which is these two angles added together. So I just have to go 65 plus 45. Add them up, 65, whoops, 65 plus 45, 110 degrees. And we call that exterior angle rule. So I go EXT for exterior angle rule. Okay, question four, I obviously have an exterior angle out here, but this time I'm not finding the exterior angle, I'm finding one of the interior ones. Now I know that these two here, add together to give this one. So I can write down X plus 33 is equal to 108. So to get X by itself, I just have to move the 33 away. So subtract that from both sides. X is going to be equal to 108 minus 33, which is 75 degrees. So that's still the exterior angle rule exterior angle rule, we have just kind of reversed it a little bit to find one of the interior angles from the rule. Question five. We've, it's a little bit more complicated, this shape, and there is two pronumerals here that we want to find. Okay, so first of all, if we look just in this triangle here, we can see that we have two angles and we're trying to find this third one. So we can just do angle sum of a triangle for that one. So A is equal to 180 minus 38 minus 44. 180 minus 38 minus 44 is equal to 98 degrees. Angle sum of a triangle. Okay, so now that we know this one's 98 degrees as well, Will that help us to find um, this letter D out here? 
Well, what I can actually do is look at this big giant triangle that goes around the outside. Okay, I know 44 over here in this corner, 72 over here in this side, so that leaves my third angle. Okay, so D is going to be equal to 180 minus 44 minus 72. Typing it in. We get 64 degrees. And that was also angle sum of a triangle, the rule that we used. Okay, so that's hopefully pretty straightforward. Two rules there, angle sum of a triangle and the exterior angle rule. So on this next page, I just have four questions where I want you to practice using those two rules. So just like we've just done, very similar questions. I want you to pause the video and have a go of these questions. Once you've had a try, then restart to see the answers. So question number one, this is a straightforward angle sum of a triangle question. A is going to be equal to 180 minus these two angles, 56 and 41. 180 minus, and we get 83 degrees. And don't forget to write the rule, angle sum of a triangle. Question two, we have an exterior angle down here. It will be equal to these angles added together. So we can write B plus 43 is equal to 117 degrees. We want the B by itself, so subtract the 43 away. So 117 minus 43 is equal to 74 degrees. And that was the exterior angle rule. Question three, all the angles are inside the triangle, so we're going to be using angle sum of a triangle. But we have two letters here. So we want to add those angles together. 2m plus another 2m means we have 4m. And then we can take our 40 off of our 180. Okay, so that means I have 4m is equal to 140. Then to get the m by itself, I have to divide the 4 away. So 140 divided by 4 is 35. So that was angle sum of a triangle. And we finally made it to the last question. Three letters here to find. And there is actually in here one of the rules from one of our previous lessons that we can use in here as well, which is to find C. To find C, we have some straight lines across here. So we know from a few lessons ago that is called vertically opposite angles. So C is going to be equal to 51 degrees because of vertically opposite angles. Okay, let's look for what else we can work out. We can find D by doing the angle sum of this triangle. D is going to be 180 minus 51 minus 72. So we get 57 degrees. That was angle sum of a triangle. Now when we found out that C was 51, we could also do angle sum of a triangle here to find E. E is equal to 180 minus the 51 minus the 64. Sixty-five degrees. Okay, so hopefully you got those answers. So just be aware that all these rules that we're learning can come back at any time. So that all the parallel line rules, vertically opposite angles at a point, supplementary, complementary, we've learned so many rules now. So they will start popping up in questions out of nowhere. All right, so keep practicing. You've got to remember all these rules that we've learned and join me next time for some more geometry. Bye for now.